This is problem number 148 from your trig packet. And this problem, it says, find all solutions expressed in radians. And it gives you 2 cosine squared 2t minus 3 cosine 2t plus 1. Well, it looks like a quadratic to me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say x equals cosine 2t. And I'm going to replace cosine 2t in each, uh, each term with x. So I get 2x squared minus 3x plus 1 equals 0. And then I can try to factor this, or I could use the quadratic formula. Let's just use the quadratic formula. So that would be x equals negative b plus and minus root b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Plug that in. I end up with, this is a b and c get negative negative 3 plus minus root negative 3 squared minus 4 times a which is 2 times c which is 1 over 2 times 2 so we end up with 3 plus and minus root this will just be 9 minus 8, which is 1. I'll write the 9 minus 8 piece over 4. So I end up with x equals 3 plus 1 over 4, or 3 minus 1 over 4. So if I write that up here, this is x equals 1, or x equals uh, 2 over 4, which is 1 half. Let's substitute x back in. I get cosine 2t equal 1, or cosine 2t equal 1 half. When does cosine equal 1? Well, cosine equals 1 at 0 degrees. So I have 2t equals 0. And then when does cosine equal a half? Well, cosine equals a half at 60 degrees and 300 degrees. I think those are the only three angles. Cosine's one at zero, yep. So then I need to go through and I need to say that this is in, needs to be in radians. It asks you for radians, so we're gonna say 2t equals and that would be zero radians. But I also don't have a restriction, so I need to say plus 2 pi k. And then 60, no, not 60. Uh, that would be pi over 3 plus 2 pi k radians. And then this would be 5 pi over 3 plus 2 pi k. And last but not least, I divide by 2 to each of those, and I get t equals, that'd be 0 plus pi k, comma, pi over 6 plus pi k, comma, 5 pi over 6 plus 2 pi k, or pi k. So these should be your solutions for t for this problem.